Hello everyone, welcome back. Today in this video, we will be looking for how to use filter option in Microsoft Excel. You can use filter for displaying records that meet certain criteria and you can hide the rest of the records. We can filter uh, for text, numbers and date. In this video, I will show you how to perform this uh, text filtering, number filtering and date filtering with a simple examples. Consider this data. It's a sample student's detail and data contains name of the student's age, mail ID, branch, year and date of birth. So before applying filtering for your data, first you have to select any of the cell in your data. So click any of the cell and go to the data tab. Now you can see a sort and filter group. From this group, click filter. Or there is an alternative way for applying filter by using shortcut Control shift l now you can see that in your column header there is a drop down arrow is visible so here when you click on this name you can see different sorting option and different text filtering options so by using this drop down arrow you can apply filtering along with sorting so here you can see different sorting options uh, for text it is sort A to Z and you can also sort by color if you have given some colors for your data you can sort based on that color and for text you can see text filtering options and when you click on this number you can see sorting smallest to largest largest to smallest you can sort by color and number filter option and so for date also you can see sorting sorting from oldest to newest newest to oldest and sort by color and date filters so in this data I want to find out the, all the students in the mechanical department so I can filter based on branch for that click on this drop down arrow and you can see different options first uncheck the select all and check only for mechanical department and click OK now you can see that all the students in the mechanical department are displayed now if you want to remove this filter, you can see a clear filter option. Click on the, now my original data is back. Next, I want to apply filter for name. I want to display all the names starting with S. So for that, click on this drop down arrow and select the text filter option. Different text filter options are here. Equals does not equal begin with ends with contains does not contain and custom filters so here i want to find out the name starting with s so click on this begin with and my first letter is s so i want to find out all the students whose name start with s here you can see that three names are here sam supa and shanti uh, their names are starting with s if I edit the name of Sam as Ram, now you can see that the name starting with R is also visible in my data. If you want to apply the filter again, you can see a reapply filter option. So when you click on this reapply filter option, you will get the up to date result. I got two result. So in this manner, you can use reapply for updating here filtered result. For to clear this filter, click on this clear filter option. Now my original data is back. Next, I want to filter students whose age is less than 20. So click on this drop down arrow box of age. And I want to find out students whose age is less than 20. So select number filter and equals does not equals greater than greater than or equal to my option is the age less than 20 so click on this less than and give 20 and click ok so i go five students whose age is less than 20 so to clear filter click on the clear filter next i want to find out students born after 2000 so click on the drop down arrow box of date of birth and select date filters 
and different date filter options are here equals before after between tomorrow today yesterday here i want to find out uh, the students born after 2000 january 1st so for that select after and it is january 1st 2000 okay now i bought all the students born after 2000 january 1st so in this manner you can apply text filter number filter and date filter in this filter group you can see one more option that is advanced these advanced options are used for your complex criteria if we have complex criteria you can use this advanced option i will show you with an example consider this data it's a sample transaction details so different items are sold from different location on different dates here the column headers are transaction id location item and number of items sold from different location and date month and price of individual item and total price here i want to find out item sold from mumbai in may so i have two criteria location is mumbai and month is may so just write criteria here here location is mumbai and month is may in the previous case our filtered data is displayed on the same table if you want to display your data in a different place you can use this advanced option for applying this advanced filter first you have to select any of the cell in your data and go to the data tab click on this advanced filter option so in this my list range is automatically selected and next is criteria range you can select the criteria range my criteria is location mumbai month is may so select this criteria range okay next I want to display the result in a different place so in this action you can click on this copy to another location and you can specify the location my location is here so if your data contains duplicated entries you can check on this unique records only and next click ok Now you can see that my filtered data is displayed in a different place and the location is Mumbai and month is May. So I got different item sold from Mumbai in the month of May. So in this manner you can use advanced filter option for filtering your data in a different place with complex criteria. I hope you got some idea about how to use filter options in Microsoft Excel. Thank you for watching.